Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning how to create a calendar using Excel that is capable of automatically updating itself. Sounds interesting, right? But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends in the IT, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the automatically updating calendar using Excel. So for that, we might want to use a few simple functions in Excel and let's get started with it. So on the first sheet, we will try to add some data. So we will be using data validation in Excel. So we don't want all that list of data to be appearing on our calendar, right? So for that reason, let's create a new sheet. And in the sheet, let's add our months. And also, let's consider a few years. We are not creating the automatically updating calendar for just one year. Let's create for a couple of years, maybe uh, a 10, right? So let's add in January. And Excel has this feature where you can just drag it and you'll get all the months all together at once. So it should be around December, yeah. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Similarly, so we are in 2022 right now. So let's add 2023 and a couple of more years maybe. So just control, not control, shift, lower arrow key, and now drag that to the December part. I think we'll get uh, a 12 years. So we have 2033. Now our list is ready. Now let's get back to the original sheet and I try to take month and year as well. Copy the cells and paste it here. So there you go, we have our months and years. Now this will be our self months and years. So here, get into data option and here, get into the data validation option and here select list option and now it will ask you for the source now where is the source this is our source so we are hiding the sheet from the users now select ok and there you go now you have a drop down menu same goes to here get into the data validation option select list and uh, go to the sheet number two where we have hidden our okay select source now go into the sheet two where we have hidden our ears select the range and press OK. So there you have our month and year. So months, you can select any one out of 12. So you have the scroll bar here. And similarly, you can select any year which you want. So for now, let's select 2022 and the first month of 2022. Now here, our calendar. So let's type in Monday. And the same applies here, you can just drag it until Saturday and Sunday. So you have all that here, right? Now let's keep it a little wider so that it's visible a little clearer. Okay, not too wide. That should be good. Now, we will begin creating the calendar. So we don't know what day was the first of uh, January 2022. Of course, it's Saturday. But what if we didn't know or we don't have any idea of the upcoming years? What if, if someone asks you, what's the first day of Jan 1st of 2033? So it would be a little difficult, right? So let's use the help of few inbuilt formulas from Excel to find it out. So you can use the uh, inbuilt function that is date value. There you go, we have our date value. And in date value, we will consider the month and uh, the year. But before that, let's provide the date value as one for default, which is the first day. So this is a date value and hyphen. Now let's press ampersand to add the remaining part that is the month and 
uh, ear. So we use ampersand and press double quotes and inside double quotes press hyphen. I guess we already have a hyphen. So instead of hyphen, what we can do is we can directly select the month cell. There we go. We have the month cell. And after that, now we might need the hyphen. Hyphen and press the ampersand again. Now our ear value. So there you go. We have our date value function ready. Press enter and there you can see some random numbers over here. This is because of a little formatting error. So you can change it. You can get into home and in home. You can see the number group and select that. And inside that you'll have custom option. You can also check with the date option. But let's go with the custom as we might want to add a few more extra things to our date. Right. So here you go. So you have date, month, year. Right. So we'll also add a date to our calendar, just DDD. This should help us with the week as well. That is 1st Jan 2022, Saturday, right? But you can see that it doesn't go with Monday, right? Here we have Monday, but the date is 1st Jan and it is Saturday. And this cell is supposed to be coming here right so there is some error regarding this so this position of the week can be fixed right this position of the week can be fixed that's what we are going to focus on in the next step so what we need is the same formula but with a little modification to it what we're going to do is subtract this with weekday of this particular value right so now what you're going to do is minus weekday formula tab space and try to copy the same formula and place it inside the weekday function copy paste and another yeah it should be somewhere here so another attribute what weekday considers is the date value uh, the day value that is, a few people will consider Sunday as the first day of a week. Few will consider Monday as the first day of a week. So accordingly, we have here. So if you're the one who's considering Sunday as the first day of a week, then the attribute should be one. But here we are considering Monday as the first day of our week. So our attribute will be three. So tap space to select it and close the function. There you go. Now you have the formula ready to identify the correct position of the weekday and the date value, right? Now, usually we might require, or we know that we have four weeks in a month, but sometimes you might end up having five weeks or even six weeks according to the arrangement of the position of the day and date to value. So for that, let's create six rows to be on the safer side. So for that, let's again cut paste this formula here to the first day, that is Monday. And as we know, this is the perfect day, that is 27th of December 2021, right? Now, our first day of January 2022 is somewhere over here. So you are just going to add uh, one value to it, right? So equals to and the cell value plus one. Enter. So there we have our next day. So again, you can just drag it to have all the seven days. There you go. We have the perfect dates. And similarly, this one. So let's try to select all of these and drag a little bit so that we have a little more space to fit in our data. There you go. Now here you're adding seven more days to complete the week. So here we'll add the cell value plus seven days to get the next adjacent date, right? So the value of the date plus seven seven days of a week to get the next consecutive date followed by the 2nd January will have 3rd January right and now he can do the same to this one and you'll have the consecutive days now drag this to all the four rows so that we have six rows 
there you go a calendar is perfectly fine now now we'll try to do few more modifications to our date value so instead of having all the month year and uh, week name we can just keep it as just the date number right so just get into numbers again numbers row and here eliminate all these data and just keep d for date press ok so there you go we have our perfect date arrangement over here now we will try to minimize the calendar length or or we can just you know make a few modifications to it monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday right now we will make some modifications then try to fit it there you go it looks good now but we still have one issue to fix that is we still have a few days from our previous year that is 2021 and we have a few days from february as well right so this looks like a problem which is fixable so we can make use of condition formatting here to fix this so get into home and conditional formatting and in conditional formatting try to use a new rule and uh, use a formula to determine which cells to format now here we are going to use the month function month of the first cell that is e5 in my case not equal to month of any any cell in between the month so we'll choose this one and press ok uh, so what you want to do if if the cells are not equal what you want to do get into format and get into number and here choose custom and choose as three semicolons or you can also do an idea of you know kind of blurring the numbers off. so for now while choose to eliminate the numbers or you know remove the numbers or keep a blank space when the condition fails right so we're going to use three semicolons to fix that and press ok and press ok so there you go so the date values which do not belong to the month of the current month will be eliminated now you can also try to add a little more detail to your calendar you can you know you can try to highlight them right so again you might want to get into condition formatting and new rule and use a formula so here if if the months are equal month of e5 or yeah the first cell e5 is equal to month of any location that is month current values then uh, fill with some color which is relevant to the calendar so i'll choose blue and uh, press ok and press ok so those particular cells will be highlighted and uh, you can also make some minor modifications to this as well you know kind of fill it with a blue the text could be white bold and you can also increase the text font size then Add borders. There you go. And again, if you wish to uh, also have the month name and year name, you can also do that. Merge and center and equals to cell value space and
ampersands and sell your value press enter and there you go and even you can try to modify this as well so you can choose to have a darker variant of blue and increase the font you can also choose to highlight the cell color You can also add borders to your list. So there you go. Your automatically updating calendar is ready. Now let's select the January and as our first query was to find the first day of 2033. Right, so here we have 2033, and the first day of 2033, January, is Saturday. And if you want another month, you can also choose that, let's say March, and you have the changed updated calendar over here. So, this is how you create the automatically updating calendar using Excel. So, if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you need the resources that we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe, and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.